Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Good evening, everyone. It's Bobby Arsenal with Bayou Time Sports out here at Southland Field. Tonight we have Nickel State baseball team going to play an inter squad game. Uh, years ago we had Nichols here playing Southern and Loyola, and we drew some great crowds, so we kind of thought, Let's do it again. So I got with Coach Heron, and he was all for it. And uh, we're out here. We're going to try it again. Also, Coach Finley, the pitching coach, we're going to have some questions for these guys. Coach, Coach Heron, let's talk first about uh, you had a few practices on your belt now. How are the teams looking? Yeah, the team's coming along. It's progressing. You know, the fall is all about progression. And so every day is a, a building block. Uh, like where we're at, we're kind of on the downhill side of our fall. So Black and Red World Series this week, and then next weekend we'll go play Tulane, and, and then the following week we'll play Southern at home. But I like where the team's at. We're physical. We're athletic. Uh, we've been really good on the mound. It's throwing strikes, and uh, so it's been fun. Now, when you play, uh, like, say, Tulane in a few weeks, is that one of those games where you can play multiple innings where you can get everybody in the game? Yeah, we'll play 14 innings, and we'll try to get everybody into the game. And so uh, it'll be good test to see kind of where we're at against a really good opponent. Let's talk about the conference. You know, Southern Conference, pretty good baseball conference. You know, we got some great teams in it. Um, how, how do you feel? I know you're just coming in, you know, but I'm sure you did your research on the teams in the conference. Uh, how does it look this year? Yeah, I think the, the conference is really good. I mean, I think the strength of the conference is in its depth. Uh, there's not really any teams in the league that are not good. So every weekend's a battle. Uh, you know, you got Lamar coming back that won 40 games last year. And of course, all these interstate rivalries with Southeastern and Northwestern and, and McNeese and New Orleans, they're all really tough teams. So it's a, it's a great league. Uh, it'll be a good battleground for us. Now I know uh, Nichols baseball facilities has some improvements coming in. Let's talk about some of that. Yeah, we have a, a new clubhouse being built uh, right there on our facility, which will be really nice. It'll be give us a chance to use that in recruiting, and uh, but for the players to have something right there on the on site will be really nice. Coach Finley, let's talk a little pitching. Uh, you're the pitching coach over there. Tell us about your staff and your relievers and uh, who we got. Uh, who's looking good? And... Yeah, everyone's on part of their own development journey, and everything's been pretty. Pretty cool so far. We have a lot of physicality, which is great. And I'm just teaching these guys, hey, it's attack the zone. Get hitting hard. Attack the zone with three plus pitches and give yourself a chance to uh, put the, have them put the ball in play, let your defense work. Have you put uh, your, your rotation together yet or still too early? Still too early. I mean, things can happen. We still have a few months until the season starts. So just uh, get these guys prepared so we have a lot of options when that time comes. Righties, lefties, what's the, what's the ratio? Uh, majority righties, but our lefties are stepping up. A lot of them are fresh. Our most majority of them are freshmen who are out, who are out there throwing three plus three plus pitches for strikes in and out, changing speeds, and things are looking really good so far. Now I know y'all had to bring in uh, some JUCOs, some transfers, some portal guys. Who's some of those guys on the, on the mound that's going to stand out? Man, um, yeah, we brought in a lot of guys. I mean, we inherited only like eight guys, and we went out there in the portal and just got as many guys as we could. I think um, specifically, we have got a couple guys who are going to be immediate impacts for us because of their um, longevity in, in college careers, which is you know Michael Lindsay, um, Alex Sparks, and uh, Joe Bordelon on the left left handed pitching staff. Coach, back to you. Uh, in the past, Nichols' preseason schedule, we always had some teams from up north coming down. Uh, anybody in, in early games that's going to be down here in, in Thibodeau? Yeah, the, we open up with Nor uh, Northern Illinois. They'll be a good opponent. Uh, the next week we play on Tuesday, we play Nebraska, Omaha. The following day on Wednesday, we play LSU at home in, in Thibodeau, uh, which will be fun, obviously. Uh, and then we have Arkansas Little Rock, who's another really tough opponent. Uh, and then Tulane, and then we're, we're right into our conference play with McNeese State. Mm -hmm. Beans, you came from LSU, a little, uh, little incentive there for that one to kind of uh, beat them? Well, I mean, yeah, anytime, <laughs> anytime you cross those white lines, you're trying to beat whoever you're playing. Um, you know, I wouldn't say extra incentive. Um, both Coach Finley and I were there, and, and I think it's a mutual respect. We really respect that yeah. program and the coaching staff and the players. And, uh, but, but, yeah, of course, when that first pitch is thrown, we're going to try to beat them. <laughs> Now, you know, we, we always talk about Nichols and the hospitality for the visiting teams all the time. That committee, that coaches committee you have in the back, you know, coach for the opposing teams. 
that's got to be a, a, a plus when you're trying to make your schedule and you got a team from a northern Illinois that wants to come. And I know years ago the word got out that that was being done, and th that was like a, an attraction for those teams to come to say, you know, they're going to feed our team after a game. That First of all, it helps them out financially, yeah. you know, but how, how does that work for you? Man, it's a, it's a great draw. I mean, I think it's – it's a great representation of where we're from here in southern Louisiana. So teams come in and they're, they're not used to that and they see just how much the community supports the local sports teams. And um, so it's, it's a really cool thing. Uh, I know having been on the other end of that uh, when we came in uh, at BYU to play Nichols, yeah. um, I know I was blown away by it. And I, and I can only imagine everybody else feels the same way. Yeah. Coach Finley, let's talk about the pitching again. Um, you know, everybody always talks about the guy can throw 100 miles an hour, you know. But it's not really about all that. I mean, it's just pitch location and, all. you know, uh, who has all the pitches. Let's talk about that with your guys. Yeah, I mean, we have velocity. I mean, we're going out there throwing fastballs pretty hard. But we're going to run out some guys who are really good with the off-speed change us being one of the catalysts to what we do on the mount. You know, changing those speeds up, down, in, and out, keeping, keeping hitters off balance. It's kind of what we're striving for right now. We're having a lot of success doing it. Coach, going back to your schedule, uh, you know, the LSUs, the two lanes and all. Um, LSU coming to Thibodeau, like you said, it's always a great draw. And I know Nichols fans love beating LSU, you know, and it, this will be your first time on that side, the lines with Nichols. And I guess, you know, you're going to see that, you know, we love playing them, but we love beating them too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, anytime you bring in a, a national power, you know, it's you want to you want to play your best. And uh, the beauty of baseball is uh, the team that plays the best that day wins. And talent, you can push talent out the doors. Whoever plays the best that day is going to win. And so, so we're looking forward to that. You know, we we get to play Mississippi State and Biloxi, so. You know, the same thing. We'll want to go there and uh, and play play better than them that day. Oh yeah. Let's talk about that game, in Biloxi. Is that going to be one where there's some other teams there, like a little round robin type? No, we play uh, we play Mississippi State in Biloxi, and then the following week we play week we play uh, Southern Miss in Biloxi. So mm -hmm. we have two games down there: one against Southern Miss, one against Mississippi State, and uh, it'll be fun for our guys to play in that Double A venue and. It's a, it's a cool thing. Yeah, that, that Shuckers field is really nice. And then, but I think they changed the name of the Shuckers. I was there this summer, and it was the Beach Chickens. Now, I don't know if, that's, if that was uh, a name they changed it for good, but they had shirts and everything with the Biloxi Beach Chickens on it. I love it. And it was selling them, but, I, but the Shuckers stuff was still around. But, but I'm telling you, I, I like you, man. What a great venue. What a nice stadium. Yes, sir. Yeah, you get an opportunity to play in those venues, and, and it's a lot of fun. So we're really looking forward to that. All right, guys, thanks for coming, Coach Finley, Coach Herring. Thank you for coming out here, and we, we're so happy you came to home of the play of Southland, and we sure hope you come back because well, we like to make this bigger and bigger. Yeah, we'll, we'll always come back, and uh, we, we view Homa as a, a very important part of our Nichols community, and so that's why we want to come and showcase what we have here. Great. Coach Herring, Coach Finley, good luck this year, and we're looking forward to going to Nichols and watching some good ball. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Uh, welcome back to Bayou Time Sports. Bobby Arsenal here with Sean Dupree, chairman of District 2-3. Sean, let's talk a little bit about the event we got going on today with Nickel State playing an inter-squad game here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nichols uh, come out here for an inner squad game. First time at home in, in quite a long time. Beautiful field here at Southland Field. So uh, beautiful day for baseball. Looks like the park's packing up pretty well. So uh, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. Yeah, like you said, last time we played a few years back, uh, uh, we had the Southern University here and Loyola playing Nichols, and we draw some great crowds for a regular game. This is an inner squad game, but talking to Coach, uh, he, he wants he's coming back. He told me tonight he's coming back. So that's great. Let's talk a little bit about uh, we're going to feed the team after. 
uh, the game on their way out. Talk about that, what happened today. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, so, of course, they want a post-game meal, so we decided to uh, throw their uh, 10-gallon jambalaya. I'd um, like to thank Gobert all for donating the meats and everything else that we needed for that. So, yeah, no, they're going to get a post-game meal of jambalaya, bread, a little dessert or whatever, so they're not going home hungry for sure. Mm-hmm. All right, so I, we're looking forward to tonight's game, but uh, in a squad game in Nichols, hope everybody's out here have a good time tonight. It's going to be a great night. Weather's perfect. We'll see you all at the ball game. Let's throw it back. We're going to introduce you to the team, uh, all the Nichols State players, and where they're from and what position they play. Uh, Jaden Kalor, senior from Hamlin, Louisiana, play catcher. Grayson Schaefer, Boise, Idaho, utility. Aaron Bidegar, third baseman from Fort Worth, Texas. My name is AJ Capel from Long Beach, California, shortstop. My name is Dalton Hill, I'm a pitcher, I'm from Stonewall, Louisiana. My name is Jansen Anderson, second baseman from Draper, Utah. My name is Woody Brennan, I'm a pitcher from Rockland, California. My name is Tomer Noor. I'm a pitcher from Israel. I'm Dawson Samansky. I'm a right fielder, and I'm from Rushton, Louisiana. Chase Jans. I'm an outfielder. I'm from Overland Park, Kansas. Luke Bavin. I'm an outfielder. I'm from Paulina, Louisiana. I'm Andy Miller. I'm from uh, Beaverton, Oregon, and I'm an infielder. I'm Matt Malosa. I'm from Thibodeau, and I'm an outfielder. My name's Caden Cutie, uh, Hammond, Louisiana, and outfielder. I'm Luke Dickerson. I'm an infielder. I'm from Orlando, Florida. My name is Carson Irvin. I'm from St. George, Utah, and I'm playing right tonight. Christian Westcott, Mandeville, Louisiana, second base. Hayden Luke, Vicksburg, Mississippi, right-handed pitcher. Logan Mallard, home Louisiana, first base. Alex Rue, Mandeville, Louisiana, second base. Narvin Booker Jr., Atlanta, Georgia, center fielder. Tyler Johnson from New Orleans, uh, first baseman. Rocco Machili, Santa Cruz, California, infield. Carter Jenkins, Branson, Missouri, third base. Noah Dettelier, Lutch, Louisiana, left field. Fisher Ingersoll, American Fork, Utah, shortstop. Let's take a look at some of the game highlights tonight. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Okay, we're out here at Southland Field with the Nickel State Baseball Inter-Squad game tonight. Uh, with, with me tonight, JT Jonathan Terrell, the athletic director at Nickel State. 
JT, we got a nice crowd out here. So happy to have Nickel State baseball in Homer. Yeah, it's it's listen, it's an honor to be here. I, I was so happy that uh, Coach Brent Herring and his and his crew talked about getting here and y'all putting this yeah. together and having all of the people come out and support. Uh, we talk about community, uh, and most people think, oh, well, they're in Thibodeau. The community is all three all three all three parishes, and so this is uh, home uh, to be in Terrebonne Parish and to be in Homer. You know that that was our goal tonight. Is you know, and I, I'm a I'm a big promoter of Homer and, and Nichols. And I want to see this grow. And talking with Coach tonight, he wants to come back. Oh yeah. And that's great. And and we'll we'll make it bigger every year, you know. So yeah. uh, I'm excited about having it out here. And we tried to do it last year, we just couldn't pull it off, you know. But I was so happy to, to get it here, get the word out. And, and that's what's scary, getting the word out these days, because right. it's a little different. Any more newspapers? No, <laughs> no, no, that's right. It's all social media that's and right. all that. So right. and it worked. Yeah. So it did. But, it so did. but uh. Again, I mean, we, we like having Nichols here and, uh, you know, the, the team, great kids. We're talking to some of the kids for the game. Yes. Uh, our team is from everywhere. everywhere. We're, <laughs> we're from everywhere. Everywhere. They, so, they are learning about Louisiana oh, look, real fast, right? And, and we're going to feed them after the game with some jambalaya. Awesome. So some of these guys, you know, might, might, be, might be in the bathroom on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, right. Uh, but no, uh, Let's talk a little bit about Nichols Athletics. What's going yeah. on Brady Miller football right now? Right. Uh, well, listen, we're in the middle of football. Uh, we played make these Cowboys this weekend, um, but uh, you know we have volleyball on the road. Listen, it's a it's a great place to be, right? Uh, Nichols Athletics. We have all the right leadership, and I'm not talking about me and Dr. Clune. Talking about that's leading these student athletes of our head coaches. Uh, you know. Tavon Tatler and Justin Payne getting ready to start up men's and women's basketball. Yeah. And I'm telling you, go get your season tickets because it's going to be a show. Um, and so, uh, you know, volleyball is doing, doing well and, and trying to make a statement in, in, their, in, in, their, uh, in the conference. And, uh, you know, Saka had two wins. And I know it doesn't sound a lot, but we're right there to make the turn. And so happy for all of these fall sports. We're looking forward to what's about to happen in, in, in the spring. You know, talking to Coach Heron before they started, you know, a lot of new guys, a lot of new guys from everywhere. But boy, he's he he is pumped up. So he he thinks he's got some guys. He got something special going on. Yeah, he does. I I, I just laughed at him a few minutes ago. I said, "Where you find these dudes? I mean, <laughs> six seven, six six. I, I to talking to Rebo after and see if he want to come check some of these fellas out. But uh, no, he. He really is. He's really excited. And the one thing about Coach Herring, I mean, recruiting was his tool, yeah. right? And uh, when we talked about bringing him here, that was the big deal. He can go out and get and get student athletes. And yeah. you look out there, he got some ballers. Oh, he does. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you, like I said, talking to the kids and all, uh, first class kids, and that means a lot to a program. You know, you want you want guys on the team that's going to mesh with everybody. You don't want troublemakers, you know. Them days are over. You know, you, we don't need them. We don't no, need them. No. You got a good bunch here. Yeah, we do. We're blessed. Uh, every one of our, I mean, no, across all sports, I always say, come out and see our student athletes. Yeah. Spend five minutes with them, and you'll want to come out and support Nichols oh, Athletics yeah. more and more because they're really, really good kids. Yeah. JT, let's talk a little bit about the uh, facilities at Nichols. We got a lot of things coming up. A lot of new buildings being put up. So, Mr. Henry Lafont and Miss Kim Lafont and that family, I think everybody knows about the new baseball facility that's about to happen. We're so grateful for that. Uh, about to do some tearing out the bathrooms and opening the space so we can get ready to break ground there uh, with softball and soccer. Have two two things happening there. Softball finally going to have something on their own field um, that you know we're looking at plans right now to get that done. So it's moving the steps. I'm moving same with soccer, uh, and just think about what what's already happened. Uh, the new book vault building uh, for football and the covered practice facility uh, that has just been really unbelievable. Not just for us, uh, but for local high schools that needed to practice in it, right? We rented it open to a lot of people in the public just so they can have the opportunity to, one, you know how it is in August, right? And so they couldn't practice in certain times, so they needed a spot. And so um, the undercover practice facility has really been, I talked to Coach Rebo, and he just really said, he just said, I, I, I don't know what we would do without it. He practiced at 7.30 in the morning now under there. Uh, they're done at 10. 
in, but he uses the fields on the side. And we thank the Manning Passing uh, Academy and the Manning family for helping us get that done and, uh, you know, send it to Narvi Shaber when he was in office to put all of that stuff into play. And so we've been very grateful for all of the capital outlay that we've had to, you know, to be able to move because you think about it, and uh, it's been a long time since something be been built at Nichols. And, and now that we have these three things that are happening in athletics, it's really, really powerful for recruiting and for coaches who want to be there. You know, and you're right, you know, the, the days of uh, just having normal facilities is over. The, 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 the statement, keeping up with the Joneses, you got to keep up with the Joneses. If you don't have the good facilities, the kids these days, that's what they're looking for. They want to see the nice facilities. Yeah, and and, and, and time will pass you by, right? And you have yeah. to continue to upgrade uh, just just for the stuff that they need, mm -hmm. right? Like what me and Greg Reynolds uh, <laughs> had back in the day, right? We. If they, if they painted the lockers, we thought it was good, right? And so nowadays, you got to keep and you got to upgrade and make sure that you give them what they need. And with the facilities, with what's happening in the training room and Thibodeau Regional Health Systems and that that whole area, just being able to help us with that is, is so important because these student athletes now walk up to it and go like, hmm, no, I'm good. I don't really need to be there. There's another place down the street that I can right, go that has... Yeah this type of stuff so we've been we've been very very blessed with the capital LA and being able to have this stuff happen at Nichols State University is unbelievable yeah. well, I tell you, that's great news to hear you know as a Nichols fan for a long time you know I love seeing all this happen I know you do too and it just makes our, our school a lot better. It does. It does. We, 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 I keep continuing saying we're very, very blessed to be at that place. It is a, a people say diamond in the rough. It is a great little place to be in our community. And I talk about our, not just Thibodeau. I'm talking yeah. about the whole community, how it, how it embraces us, right? Yeah. Like think about the crowd that we have here tonight and how the people at home just came out to embrace the baseball yeah. team. We don't ha you don't have that many places in in, in, a, in a small FCS school like we have. So we've been very grateful to have the things that we got. Well, I'm gonna drop this on you right now. I want to do softball the same thing. I want to play at home. Let's, let's make it happen. All right. Let's make it happen. Okay, for sure. All right. Yeah. Thanks again, you Coach. Bet. Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Waits and Downer, Attorneys at Law, Terrebonne Ford, Built Ford Tough, 